were you surprised when you saw you know Michigan State so two and five what, five game winless streak coming? Is that surprising? It all just more competitive team out of them. Yeah, I mean, I think I think as Michigan State has been the last you know, ten years or so, it's, it's kind of a shocker to see that they're not doing as well as, we, as I think everyone thinks that they should be doing. Um, but at the end of the day, they're going to give us our their best shot, and we're going to give uh, them our best shot. So um, it's going to be a great game on Saturday. And we're, I'm excited to be a part of it. There isn't any away crowd that likes you guys, but it, it, does Michigan State put a little extra into it? Uh, I think they dislike us probably a little more than most. I mean, I think when, you know when you, when you go to Rutgers. They were, they were playing our, our fight song with the band, so I, I think they kind of like us. But when you go up to when you go up to Sparty, they're they're, they're not going to be playing our fight song. Their fans are going to probably not like us. Uh, probably some booze. So we're, we like that. We like the the, the, you know, the, the chance to, to win, a, win on the road and, and get a big win. The way last year ended, something good came out of that for you guys as far as skill in this mind or motivation or whatever. The way last year's game ended, something maybe good came out of it for you guys? Uh, I don't think it's ever good to win but or to lose, but I think at the end of the day you can learn from those mistakes. You learn that you have to take every opponent up until the last second um, seriously. So I think we watched the film and we got better. And we were, I think, uh, someone said we were 11 1 since, since that loss, so we're. We're doing pretty well for ourselves. You don't let games get to the final seconds anymore. It doesn't seem like no, that's that's also another thing is you don't you don't get it you don't make it a close game. You uh, you put them away as fast as possible, and, and that's what we try and do each and every each and every week. You mentioned up there being on the field for that last play. Right? What can you just kind of obviously it's a bummer of a question, but can you kind of give me your recollections of where you were and kind of what you you've seen it on tape for sure hundred times? What you actually did on that play? Yeah, I mean we we practiced. I mean, it was just a regular punt like we practiced each and every day. Ten times a day for you know, that was what the sixth or seventh game of the year, so we did it probably seven hundred times or so. So I think at the end of the day, I mean I don't know. You know maybe it I thought it was going to be a regular really punt. I thought our punter was going to get it off. So when I didn't hear the ball go off off his foot, you can hear that from the back. Uh, it didn't go off. So I turned around. By that time, the ball was you know, forty yards down the field. So. Uh, you know, How would you describe uh, that immediate? Moment. It's a weird noise, you know, that yeah. the stadium makes. How, right. how, what do you, how do you recall that? Uh, you kind of look around and say, you know, what just happened. You know, this is real. Let's look to see if there are any flags. See if maybe the call can be. You know, the, we can redo the play, but um, you know, they made a play when they needed to. And that's what happened.